last time on whatever this adventure is called, our heroes met. Uh, happens by happenstance <laughs> in a in a cantina bar known as a uh, click run by run by a lovely authorian named dex uh not short for dexter his name is just dex i realized that after the fact <laughs> uh and uh two of them working security one of them just and two of them just enjoying the services but uh, when the owner was accosted by gang members of the, uh, I believe I called them Skags, I believe. Skags, uh, not only did the security team of of Nyx and Raystra step in, but uh, the Jedi Kalshin uh, aided with force powers. And uh, <clears throat> Ash tried, <laughs> I but, totally... has, but has never seen combat before in her life. Totally legal force powers mm -hmm. that are allowed... I did my best, and that's the only thing anyone could ever ask of me. <laughs> Ash, Ash and Raystra yeah. felt the use of the Force powers, and Kalshin tried to get away smoothly, but Nyx, overcome with a sense of duty and honor, that could not... All genetic programming you, you can pick. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> that he could not fight, so take your pick on which one, what that means. Uh... Needed an honor, or you know, we could call it brainwashing, which is what it actually is. <laughs> Boring. I mean, we, uh, listen, we all know it's brainwashing. We can stop pretending that it's not. Yeah. Um, had to follow this Jedi to ensure that he was safe. Uh, conversations were had about exactly what was going on. Uh, Ash Ash was discovered force sensitive. Uh, this is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> all three of you are force sensitive and then there's me a clone for all of you for different reasons uh <laughs> i am the worst combination of things to exist in this galaxy it's true well on course it's... not <clears throat> three force sensitive and a clone it's all true. walk into a bar Nick's... <laughs> <laughs> it was cooler than that trust me go listen to it <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just a joke. <laughs> Three force sensitives and a clone walk into a bar. Uh, and, but, your conversation was interrupted by, well, first, Dex calling calling Nyx and telling him mm -hmm. that everything was closed. But mm -hmm. then a a sensation that <clears throat> Raystra's familiar with, Cal Sheen was able to feel, as uh, same with Ash. Uh, over swept over you, fear and anger and hatred, and then a crashing noise as a body was f falling from about three levels up down to a few levels below you. And it actually, if anyone's gonna look over the side, it land. That body happened to land on one of the railings and is just like folded <laughs> the spine. Oh. Yeah, it's, oh. gravity's rough. Uh, <laughs> Especially a course, I... <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> it's all oh, vertical. Yeah. From uh, how high up? <laughs> there is there any rains? How high up was the? From how high was the fall? Uh... <laughs> about three levels up, which doesn't it doesn't sound like a lot, and it's kind of not a lot. Like the levels, excuse me, the levels aren't separate, especially down here at the lower parts, aren't separated <laughs> by that much space this is this but. is a rated rated r star wars movie <laughs> i was about to fucking say i mean rated it's what it's it won't, it's what would happen i'm sorry if that mental image is too much but it's what no, would happen no, no. No, yeah no no it's just it's just the mental image of like oh yes nothing quite opens a star wars movie like watching somebody get fucking perforated listen <laughs> In Clone Wars, a man fucking throws himself off a building, and then they decide to show it as well. Show his body That's at the true. bottom. So, like, don't don't That's at true. me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it, I I don't know who's looking down, but Ratio was looking up at the source and a kind of an apartment that had a big window, which is rare for those levels. Uh, the window was just shattered, and she could still feel twinges of what was reverberating through the forest but not nearly as strong, and she sees a small female silhouette in the window. But that's it. What do you do? 
Uh, I'm gonna go up. Uh, so how? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to leave this apartment and then I'm going to go up. So there are... There Wait, are... don't split up! <laughs> I decide, I, I wheel myself upwards, Justin. Uh, so... No, I'm going to, I'm assuming that there are stairs. Uh, turbo lifts. Stairs are, Whatever. stairs are ancient. Uh, stairs are so there's... archaic. <laughs> Then how are I you were... going to get down if the lifts break, you fucking idiot? <laughs> uh, that actually happens in a, in a book, but you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take, would... the, I'll take the lift up. I would like to follow. Yeah, as as would I. Whose apartment was it that we entered? Was it mine? It no, was it, mine. Was, it was Cal's. Oh, okay, which, was which was coincidentally in the same building as ours. Yeah, exactly. You all were neighbors. Yeah, we're all. Uh, yeah, we're all. We were somehow all neighbors. Total it's uh, as as for me, mm-hmm. it's realizing that I just watched three Jedi feel the dark side of the Force, uh, mm-hmm. I am going to be the weird one and split the party. Uh, I am going to go to my apartment and grab my shit. Okay. So all of your shit? <laughs> uh... Yes, all the impo- the the immediate important stuff, uh, and put it in a bag and strap it over my shoulders and and dip. So tell me what the immediate important stuff is. Um, uh, a couple of rations, uh, standard survival pack, uh, stuff, and my armor. I'm following Raystra. <laughs> I can I do I notice uh. Do I do I notice Nick's uh, splitting? He's not trying to hide it, so certainly. No, I'm not trying to hide it. No. Yeah, I'll follow him. Okay. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Uh, we'll we'll deal with that first, actually, because I like that okay. timeline. So, okay. uh, are you are you opening your bin of stuff, Nix? With, with uh, all yes. your stuff? Okay. Yes. I, like I open the uh, I open in. I run in. I. Uh, Grab! I start just shoveling my stuff into into a pack and just getting ready to leave. So Cal Sheen, as you just kind of follow behind him, uh, you notice very practiced. This is something the military teaches their recruits yeah. immediately: how to pack up quickly, how to move quickly. Uh, but you know, as he's opening things, there's a there's a chest, what a footlocker, we'll call it, uh, mm-hmm. barely even that. Uh, and there's clone armor in it. He's still got his armor. That's impossible to not notice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bright white. <laughs> Very shiny. Very shiny. Uh, it it does. I will say, like, it does have a couple of like uh, buffs on the edges. Uh, a couple of uh, blaster scorch marks uh, on like the wrist gauntlets from where he would fire his blaster. Um, it hasn't been cleaned, but he has uh, kept it. Kalashin just kind of speaks up. I must admit. Seeing you pack up like this, it feels nostalgic. Yeah, we can uh, reminisce on old memories later. Let's go. Right. Uh, as you exit the uh, apartment and walk by the pretty much the, the perpetu- perpendicular to the scene of the crime, but the scene of the crime is down mm-hmm. there. If you look over, there are two little... These were in Clone Wars. I don't know their designation, but those little ball droids with the red and blue lights. Uh, oh no! <laughs> that are like currently uh, like looking at the body. I think those are probe droids. Uh, they they're the precursors to them, but these are yeah. security droids. I'll uh, just... Oh, so they're looking over the body. Yes. Cool. I'm gonna pull the Jedi back to make sure that they don't spot him. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I think what I'll do is droids are stupid. Uh, it's true. That do be true. I'm going to look. Everyone knows that R2 is the true hero of the entirety of the Skywalker saga. You can't convince. It's me actually the R2D2 saga, and no one can. I'll sit at that table and be like, change my mind. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to, it doesn't say I have to see where I cast it. It just says it has to be within range. I'm going to use sound trick. Oh. And 
that one that one thing that Obi Wan did one time in the entire Star Wars series. Do it. So it's oh, canon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, could I create the sound of? Actually, no. He did it twice. Can I create the sound of glass breaking? Uh, it, so I imagine it's like prestidigitation. Yes, a small sensory uh, effect. I think it's, it's technically more like thaumaturgy. Oh, uh, okay. That yeah. If it's if it's limited by thaumaturgy, yeah, something you can defo. Yeah. What's the range? All right, thirty feet. So mm. I just want it to be uh an effect that like rounds the corner. Uh, yeah. So that way the droids <clears throat> are as far from the body as possible, but also have to take as many turns as possible. So. With only thirty feet, uh, the body's yeah. like two levels down. It fell. The window that he fell from is three levels up. Two levels down is more than thirty feet. So okay. you could make the sound on the level above, which is the level right below you. Uh, but that's about it. You can't reach all the way down unless you're gonna like hang off or do a jump or. I'm just I'm just gonna look up uh, like an X back up against the wall. I have an idea, just so that way we're as hidden from the probe droids as possible when they look up. Yeah. Okay, go for it. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do that whole thing. The whole Force thing. You know, the Force <laughs> thing. You know, that, yeah. that thing that Jedis do. The Force thing. The Force thing. Uh, you reach out. Have you thought about what the Force looks like to Cal? Yeah, we talked about it. It I looks like so. a tree, kind of. Like a budding sprout growing into a large tree. Yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> and so, twofold interesting things happen here. Uh, you know, a Jedi taking point and kind of like mm -hmm. pulling you back and being like, I have a plan, let me try this, Nyx, is also... Nostalgic is a good word. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's familiar, and for one reason or another, it feels right. And <laughs> you, can't, you can't place how. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So yeah. after he does that, he's just going to... Pat him on the shoulder. Well done, General. Let's move. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, move it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Race well, I would like to say Anna. Ash yeah. is the only one that's given her name. So, like, <laughs> Ash doesn't know what anyone yeah. else is called. Race and Ash. Uh, hmm. Let's say the turbo lift, probably purposefully, is a few blocks down. So it takes you, like, you know, even... Are you guys, like, sprinting? You're just going? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Even yep, yep. sprinting, it takes you, like, a minute to get to the turbo lift. You open it. It goes... And then only going up three levels. Is It doesn't take that long, but, you know, in this moment, it feels like forever. And then the doors open. As soon as they do, you see a, a sec one of those security doors, like, crossing your vision, going towards the direction where this... Where this crash happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and what do you do? I'm gonna follow the fucking security droid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ash close behind with Lemmy also at our feet. <laughs> Are you uh, attempting to hide your presence from the security droid? Uh, I am, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll follow, I'll follow, uh, I'll follow Raestra's lead. She'll, she'll touch Raestra. Uh, and be like, uh, I, I think you're you're much better at this than I am. And basically, I gave you guidance. <laughs> red. Red, 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 So if that is the case, both of you will need to... Rada, 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 Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna try to keep up with it and be stealthy, that'll require a stealth check. Yeah. Ooh. D4? D4. Yep. Yeah, I will. I will take you up on that. Thank you. That wasn't the worst, but it could be better. Oh, so much better. Uh, 15. 17. Alrighty. It doesn't notice you. You're kind of just <laughs> doing some nice slinking. Uh, don't even need to use the force. It's just, you know, stealth, stealth is something you just had to learn, Raystra, at some point. And mm -hmm. uh, Ash, you've always been light on your feet. <laughs> so behind, around, around a alley corner, sometimes behind dumpsters, you're just like, slinking from thing to thing, but the the security droid kind of, like, gets to an apartment complex, the door slides open, it goes in. Uh, do you, you, I imagine you guys intend to, like, sleek in the door before it closes. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. 
Uh, and yeah, so you you're managed to do that with your stealth check. And it goes into an apartment door, which is wide open. And uh, there's really, at this point, there's no way to enter this apartment without the security droid seeing you. You know, it's kind of like starting to scan the area. So you, you can sit at the edge of the door and peek in and decide what to do, but that, that's about it without it seeing you. Mm -hmm. I'm just. I just want to see if I can see anything that indicates where this person is. <clears throat> um. So if you're both gonna peek in, make a perception check. Cool. Ooh, that was really good. That was okay. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, fifteen. The window's busted. Uh, <laughs> oh, nothing, you <laughs> nothing but nothing but cold air kind of whooshing in uh the the security droid is kind of like just and you actually see it does a scan it completes its scan and then kind of folds into a, a ball because at, at first it's kind of like a what's a good word you know what count dooku shit looks like it's got the yeah it's got the two uh oh, yeah it looks like that originally, but it kind of folds into a ball at a point and kind of flashes like it's in... Uh, you know that means it's in sentry mode with that perception check. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, a chair is toppled over uh, in the other end of the room. So the window, if the window is at the north end, we'll say north. Uh, at the south end, a chair is toppled over. But really, at the north end, there are some like pieces of furniture that like also like fell uh and the windows broken but other than that like in your opinion no signs of a struggle uh mm -hmm. and you don't really see any clues you think you would have to get a closer look or mm -hmm. ideally uh your hands on something mm -hmm. i do need to get my hands on something fuck how close is the nearest turned over chair? That's on the south side of the room, which is close to this door, I imagine. I'll say the window's opposite this front door. Uh, I'm going to try and get my hands on one of those toppled over chairs. I have a question for the DM. Yes. GM. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, one of my at will tech casting things is on off. Mm -hmm. Would that turn the sentry thing off? Make a. There's a tech check, right? Or is it a. Uh, it would have to be intelligence. I mean, it could be investigation or just a general knowledge check with no proficiency bonus. I could just do yeah, that if you wanted me to. Investigation. And, you know, you are you get this check because you're, you've are you worked with droids. Uh, eh, 15. Uh, with a 15. Let me check that. That tech power is called... It's called on-off. On off. This power allows you to activate or deactivate any electronic device within range as long as the device is not being wielded by a creature and has clearly defined on or off function that can easily be accessed from the outside of the device. Any device that requires a software-based shutdown sequence to activate or deactivate cannot be affected by on off. Now, I imagine, and you know, this is me being new to this uh, setting, droids don't fall under that. Droids are technically creatures and they are not objects. Okay, I just figured I'd ask. Yeah. Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> we had a whole conversation about this motherfucker. Yeah, they you are. said they were. Well, I mean, they're not so droid. So just like D and D, there are the monster tags. Droid. Oh, droid is a monster tag. So they, they are, are not. Oh, are they, they are. Construct? They are in reality objects, but they are in mechanics, not objects. <laughs> so, mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would connotate that they weren't objects at all, but that's fine. But also, of the thing, like, this is a security droid, like, government-owned. There's not an on-off switch on the outside, which that spell needs. Hashtag droid <laughs> yeah. There's a whole movement, in fact, that's canon. <laughs> you can... Listen, I'll shut this down. Any of you could have played as a droid. So, that's, that, okay, that yeah, actually... That's yeah. <laughs> but I just, I figured I'd ask. Yeah. I mean, if I wasn't going to be able to play as a clone, we I confirmed with you guys that I was going to be a B1 battle droid. Roger, Roger. God. 
Uh, but with that 15, you know that won't work, and you think this thing has sent a signal to superiors, and you're f with a 15, these things are common. It is in sentry mode, and technically at this moment, it has the effects of the alarm spell. If something moves within here, it's gonna... Do I know how do I do I know how close we have to get for it to go off? Uh, what's the range of the alarm spell? I have it up right here. Twenty foot radius, I think. This apartment is not very big. It just has a, has the fancy window. Uh, no larger than twenty foot cube cube. Cube. Yeah. Cube. Yeah. So it will definitely. Uh. It's at the it positioned itself at the entrance where anyone entering will though uh I'll say the apartment is just big enough that like if you found a way over to the window uh you wouldn't set it off actually or ooh, actually can, I imagine there are other ways to disarm this I'm not sure I'm not familiar with all your tech powers but I imagine you have some leveled ones that could do something about this I have a I have one whole leveled one and that is not that's it's not going to be helpful in this situation I'm sorry I have I okay I'll say Is there something hang on is there uh is there something like um like smaller than a bread box broken on the floor uh, abs absolutely. We'll say there was a a little a little modern art piece that you can't even tell what it looks like, but it's about equally the size of a bread box. So I have a question. If I can mm -hmm. use this this way, um, can I use my force disarm to pull that into my hands? Uh, no, there there is a force spell that does that. That's telekinesis, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, this, uh, specifically. if this I have, um, uh, you select a weapon or object being worn or carried by a large or smaller creature. Creature must make a strength save. If the item is on a failed save, the item is pulled directly to you. If you have a free hand, you catch it. Otherwise, it lands at your feet. Well, the spell says it has to be worn or carried. Hmm. Uh, I have push pull, but Ash that I have reasons to not just use that at will. And, so <laughs> and to to fur to finally uh wrap up your your investigation check, you know alarm only alerts at creatures. It's not like a motion sensor. It will know if a creature enters and it will set off its alarm. So I could send Lemmy in there to like push something towards Raistra's hand. You could. Well, again, by all accounts, <laughs> droids are creatures. <laughs> Because they could be affected by creature spells. But that being something could be thrown at this droid or the force could be used to pick something up. As long as it's not a droid. God, I hate that this is already a thing that we have to... <laughs> I'm admitting it. Droids are people too. <laughs> well, you're welcome. That so, was the big plot twist of this so game. So with my, <laughs> with, my, with my check, I would know that... Uh, Raystra can't get close to something without it triggering. With that, with that or check, get to the chair. With that check, you know neither of you or Lemming could enter this room without its alarm going off. Alarm is looking for tiny or larger creatures. Okay, How? don't get, don't get closer. Don't, don't do it. It's bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the math on how hard, on how fast it would take me to soccer ball punt one of these fucking <laughs> droids right out this fucking window. God, that mental picture is great. If I just if I just run up on them and just boom, boom, pop them right out out the fucking window. Is is the Twi'lek? Is the Twi'lek still in here? No. Uh, you're presumed to check it. No, nothing living appears to be in here. Hmm. Is there something dead in here? Oh no! Nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a hand. I have, I have <laughs> such. I have such an easy solution to this, but for for, for care in character reasons, I can't do it. I hate this. How high up? So this is this is three floors up. Yeah. Levels. Floors, but yeah. I, I at this level, floors is a good uh, way to think about it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah. it's three floors up. Mm -hmm. Is there a balcony? Are there balconies from the apartment directly below us up to this one? So, 
No. I'll, I'll paint a picture of how it works. Because, because these are so tightly knit levels, apartments are not multi-stories tall. They're only, like, one. And this window, like, immediately looks out onto the street, which has a balcony, which has a railing. But it's just raised enough, like... And apparently the guy went flying so far that he fell outwards enough to go down five levels, and then he landed on the railing. Uh, Did we say that I don't have a grappling hook? Uh, not yet. That's a, okay, that's a piece it. of equipment you can buy. It's in the equipment tab of this very handy uh, system website that we use. <laughs> it's just make, make your character sheets better a little, just a little. If you guys are watching, for those of you, yeah, for those of you who run uh, SW Five E, uh, your shit's cool. Make your character sheets not horrible to use. <laughs> yes, we love we love the hard work that you put in there. However, equal hard However, work on your character sheet app would be wonderful. I think long enough time has passed while you guys are thinking that. So, Kalshin and and Nix, where where are you going? Are you trying to go to the same area, or are you? Uh yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm I'm heading to the same area with with the with the Jedi. Okay. To meet up uh, with Raystra and the and the small one. Is that yeah. where you were planning on going? Cal? She is average height. Fuck you. <laughs> can I actually? Hmm. Can I? I just remembered. I have. I have project. Hmm. I am so tempted to just fucking use it and just curl a fucking chair at these droids and yeet them out this fucking window. So project looks I like mean, it would be very in his catapult. Oh, it's catapult. It it's, would it would be project? extremely in character. Wait, you so. could catapult something to us. No, I cannot. It's away from me. It specifies it's away from me. Oh, damn it. I mean, uh, well, again, it's a small the, for your objects on the ground and hurl them. Again, droids aren't <laughs> droids aren't objects, but you can fling something at this droid. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is it's you three piles of debris or small objects from the ground and hurl them. Each pile hits a target creature of you can see within range. So I, I can, I could, in theory, do it, but I would have to make a ranged attack against Ash. Which would be not good. Wait, so which power is this? What's it physically called? Uh, it's just called project. Huh. Hmm. Okay, I see project. it. Uh, ooh. Are you going to tell her that you want to do this? <laughs> Absolutely not. So I, I could. Oh, I could. Th this, this isn't catapult. This is magic missile. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm reading it. It means you yeet an object. So my brain went catapult. No, this you don't even have to because it's magic missile. It hits automatically. You just yeah, need, I could, You just need three I small could, things. I just I could. I'm so tempted. She because she would. She absolutely would do this. I'm trying to decide if she has enough common sense to do it inside or to fucking whack these fucking droids right out this fucking window. So there's only one here. Two, there's only one here there's right now. Yes. Oh, so yeah. Can I mechanically could I do that? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a you attack a creature and uh, as we just established, droids are creatures. Uh, How close is it? Uh, uh, like I said, this thing isn't big and it's close enough that a twenty foot cube is encompassing this door, so it's definitely close enough. But you don't at this moment. Do you don't really have three small things. Because I believe there's there's only like the furniture, uh. Well, because they have I mean, to be I mean, near you. There's a couple of well, in this three, four, four small objects. Yeah. You said that there was you, you said there was a weird avant garde art piece in here. Something that was small enough to count as a. But that's small on the object. other side of the room. I, I this doesn't state it, but I imagine the intention is you pick I up something. Well, the range of something you can fling. I imagine if this works like the force power I'm thinking of, you pick up three things right next to you and then poof, them at your enemy. Uh, so, But, you know, Ash has tools. You could be like, gimme. <laughs> Set some wrenches on the ground. I have a plan. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you know what? I am. I am going to do this. This is a terrible idea, but it's absolutely something she would do. Uh, 
she's gonna turn to Ash. She goes, "You got, you got like a wrench and a couple screwdrivers I can have for a second. Uh, uh yeah. I I bend down, uh, open up Lummy, and I just hand them to you. I have Red. I have a question to make something very clear. Uh, mm -hmm. is is her violent intention clear? <laughs> Uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, I don't know what else you were expecting. Ash, you know that that a security droid being destroyed is like, that sends a signal. But it's already sent a signal, so do with that knowledge what you think. But you know that, uh, like, it's not gonna it, see I have It's not gonna see it coming, I can promise you that shit. <laughs> I, I, have, I, have, I have two things. Uh, one, uh, while it's already sent a signal, it's gonna send another one if it gets destroyed. And two, am I gonna get these back? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just, I, I mean, she. There's just a pause, and she just looks at you dead serious and goes, "I mean, if it's destroyed, there's nothing stopping me from getting them back for you." <laughs> I, I suppose that's true. Sorry, she. She tentatively hands them over. <laughs> yeah, just under, just under her breath. This is all whispered, obviously. Just under her breath. Not, don't worry about it. It's not going to fucking see it coming. Uh, <laughs> I would like to. Uh, if at all possible, mm -hmm. I would like to roll a sleight of hand check, and I would like to make it, I would like to do this to attempt to make it look like I just throw them. Okay. Before we do that, I don't... have you thought about how Raystra sees the Force? I have. Um, well, she's she... actually physically casting a Force ability. Let's describe that. <laughs> uh... The, the way that I've been thinking about it is because the way that I've had her describe it in the past... It works very mechanically to her. She sees it as uh, things. God, it feels okay. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. It's not unlike using like a tool. Mm -hmm. uh, she sees pieces that interlock together. That if you move one, th if you move one thing, it moves everything else around it. So it's the idea of, like, when something shifts, something else clicks into place. Very opposite of our Jedi companion here. Yeah, exactly. so Love it's it. like a machine. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. Well, a bio machine, because the Force is nothing but life energy. But, you know, every Jedi sees it differently. Everything in, Yeah, everything fits together in the Force to work as it should. When something, for her, when something in the Force dies, it's a part of the machine going dark. I just, that, no longer, that no longer functions. I'm really sorry. I heard a life machine, and my first thought was like, oh, it's a machine, except the cogs and like the bulk is just made out of flesh and blood. And then I just immediately followed that thought with, with Raystra, just thinking like, I don't know why the Force keeps screaming. It just does. <laughs> 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 We're not going to talk about that. We're going to move the fuck on. Make that uh, side of hand check. to unpack all, all of, that. of that. Make that side of hand check. Yeah, I will do that. My sleight of hands. Okay. Now That's hold on. Hmm. Mandalore's been suddenly silenced long ago. My my passive is is fourteen. Yeah. So, like, do you want me to roll against this, or no, if it's we'll exactly deal, my passive? We'll deal with your passive. So. We'll deal with your passive since you're not. Okay. You're not aware that she's trying to hide something. Yeah, I'm gonna. Tell me. Tell I'm me gonna... what you rolled. Uh, I rolled a 14. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's interesting, because it's like, it's not necessarily a meets, it beats, but it's like... Uh, when a, a contested check is made and there is a tie, the status quo is held. So... <laughs> so I noticed so... that this is some weird freaky force shit? Uh, it does look like she throws it, but you realize, you definitely, like, figure it, it has to be I throw it way force. harder than I probably <laughs> yeah. should be able to with the amount of space I have. More of that space sorcery bullshit. It looks, it, it looks like I threw it, but if that is the case, my fucking upper body strength is very scary. I'll paint a picture. Raystra, your hand is very big. You have all three tools in it. And you close mm -hmm. your eyes and you take a deep breath. And for the first time in a while, actually reach out to the force. Very uh, long time. It's cold at first. Like the machine is wont to be. But you... Uh, tighten your focus. You want this droid gone. <laughs> you know how to do it. The tools, the tools are in your hand, and kind of with with your mind's hand, with your mind's eye, you kind of reach into the machine to to pull something, to pull basically a chain back 
and then with you with the strength of your arm and the strength of that chain snapping back as you let it go, the the items go <laughs> and uh, roll that damage. Okay, it's three it things, is... right? One d four plus one. Uh, yep, one d four plus one. Uh, actually, you physically can't not kill it. It has two hit points. <laughs> 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 well, the goal is not to the goal is not to break it it's to fucking yeet it out the window okay well i mean so non-lethal damage is a thing but also yeah. i believe well roll the damage we'll see if you do twice its max hit points it's just gonna die like that's how that's how this works <laughs> uh, no two you did two did exactly two with 3d4 plus one each no. yeah <laughs> One d four. Uh, well, uh, the spell is three d four, if I remember correctly, right? Hold on. Three pile. The pile deals one d four. Yeah. So it's three piles. It's oh, magic okay. missile. There's three piles. One d four plus one each. She could send the magic missiles elsewhere. I think she could. I, I could. But you have to decide that at the casting of the spell, not like yeah, oh okay. that one because they all hit simultaneously. Yeah, no, because no, the goal is the yeah. goal is just. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just destroyed it. <laughs> and you definitely, uh, oh, puppy. I did, I did points of damage. Yeah, you definitely, uh, I'll flavor this. I love this. The way Ash, you notice that it's definitely four sorcery. She kind of, and like the two wrenches and the screwdriver are like careening at like a shotgun. They're kind of like parallel, but then when it gets to the droid, the ones at the edges just go. And like hit it at the side while the screwdriver kind of hits it right in the front, piercing its little its little body, and then it, and it just falls to the ground and it's just sparking. It's not okay. Wait, does, <laughs> so it just drops or does it fly out the window? Definitely with how magic missile works, because it would have been hit on two sides and on the front, it doesn't fly out the window. Okay. Is it is it like you know it's definitively like broken? Oh yeah, yeah it's like in two pieces. <laughs> it's, uh, okay. I'm. Yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna punt it out the window. Guys, <laughs> uh, everyone's best friend is here. Yeah, and because of timing, and because I fucking like, and because I like this a whole fucking lot, uh, make a athletic check, I guess, to punt this out the window. <laughs> I mean, that's not the best, but I mean, it's very small. Uh, my athletics. It's a good thing my athletics are fucking great. That's ten. Boom. <laughs> The form isn't great, but it goes out the window. And at this very moment, Kalsheen and Nyx come <laughs> down the street in front of this window. Kalsheen and Nyx, a uh, like, metal cylinder goes flying past your faces. <laughs> and then you turn Tom and look. Kind of... <laughs> Cut this kind of speaks up. Is that yours? Uh, probably. Uh, all right. uh, I'm thinking, uh, I mean, if I can be in here, I'm going to just check the fucking window. Uh, so... There are a few things around. So by check, are you gonna... What, what do you intend to do? Uh, I would like to use... The force? Well, I mean... I'd like to use the force. I, uh, I, I, well, I know what you're getting at. What, do you want, what would you like to touch? Looking around at, uh, at this scene... The at, window. Uh, the window is probably the, the most concentrated thing. So that's probably the best. Take a piece of glass. Uh, there's a... Well... Most of it's outside. A little bit is left in place, so you kind of like pluck one, like kind of sharp piece that's still in place, and you and you hold it between your fingers, and uh, yeah, I imagine the force feels this. Uh, <laughs> I <the> force. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> I mean, you are technically yeah. <laughs> uh, Where's that? Fucking trumpet coming from. <laughs> <laughs> what Biff is playing a Biff horn right now? <laughs> stop there's, it! Yeah, I told you to a, stop following just like me. A biff down the, there's just like a panhandling Biff just just outside the alleyway. I don't know. It just felt like playing something heroic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, your vision kind of it gets yanked uh, backwards and. It goes uh, cloudy at the edges, and you're used to this. This is what it looks like when you uh, psychometry something. Uh, you don't have a lot of control, and you 
through the years you've thought maybe you could gain it, but you just haven't yet. <laughs> it's it's hard. I suck at it. I suck shit at it. Uh, but it's mostly the strength you found is focusing on the item. You're not good with people. You focus on what happened to the item. And, you know, items aren't alive, but the force flows through all things. Uh, and so it can show you what affected that item. And usually it's emotions uh, and mm. physical events. Right now, uh, in these moments, the glass is intact. It remembers being intact. Uh, and you can kind of see outside, but with great force of will, you force the kind of camera to turn around to inside, and you see a weak way gentleman, one you recognize. He was at the he was at the bar, and uh, a Twi'lek young lady who you also recognize, she was the dancer. Upon this closer look, though, and in this setting, it's uh, painfully clear that that she's no older than 16. Uh, And events unfold before you a little faster than they would have happened in real life, and there's a little bit of blur, like it's a like it's a time lapse that wasn't put together correctly. Uh, and there's, you know, he touches her. Uh, she, you can tell, and it's something you're familiar with. She expresses displeasure in that. Suddenly the chair in the back of the room is knocked over and both individuals are over there, but then suddenly they're closer to the window and then suddenly the weak way is like right there and the window is remembering being shattered and you can look at him fall and the camera kind of wants to do that but you kind of force it to stay on the on the toilet girl and her hands are out like this and uh she's scared and trembling uh, and then the, can't, the time moves forward again, and like she's at the back of the room. She's she's where she is. She's where she was actually, kind of on her knees. But then time moves forward again, and she's at the door. And then time moves forward again, and she's gone. Okay. Uh, I let go. I put it down. Uh, I look at Ash. Uh, uh make. Uh, I'm making this up on the fly, but I like this. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Ash, give me. Oh. That's not great. <laughs> do, 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 do. My whiz is real bad. It's a, well, it's a total of 10. Uh, psychometry's hard. It's always been. Uh, you t- by all technical standards, just for mechanically, you're stunned for a round. Uh, so you just mm-hmm. have to t- you have to take a breath. You have to like your, all your muscles tense and you have to catch yourself. Everybody notices this. It's like not uh, not subtle. Yeah, and then you drop it, the glass shatters even a little more, and then you're not stunned anymore, and you're... What? It's up to you what, what happens was... Ash had gathered uh, her tools while this was going on. <laughs> uh, we should... Uh, uh, two, two things. Uh, one, we should go, and two, uh, what, the, what the hell was that? We can talk about that on our way out. Uh, we're going, you saw nothing. And then she just leaves. <laughs> I will roll an intimidation check if need be. Uh, not not player versus player. We'll just let the players decide how scared their <laughs> their, their characters are. Uh, d- d- Ash Ash mutters to herself, "No one wants to tell me anything." <laughs> no one's not. Sh- you didn't see shit. It's fine. We're le- we're leaving. Uh, Nix and uh, Nix and and. Uh... Our Jedi friend are here as well, right? Yes. You arrived. No one wants to tell me anything. Kalshin, on the contrary, <laughs> I would like to teach you everything. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's it. and then to all of you, she says, you saw nothing, and then we just go. Uh on the contrary, do I see that? Do I know what that is? <clears throat> Make a there's no force check, so it's a wisdom check, I guess. I would okay. imagine I've seen I've seen Ray do this before. Oh, yes. he knows. Yeah, yeah, Nix knows. Yeah. Well, has she has uh, she told told Nix or just done it in front yes. of him? Yes. Okay. 
Yes, that's, Nyx knows. Uh, that's a ten. That's not great. He knows. Or, he knows because she knows in the grand scheme of things that like if he doesn't, it could be the real bad. <laughs> if if you're proficient, make it history. But if you're not, uh... I'm pretty sure history I'm... is an intelligence. So I'm not proficient in well religion. Well, actually, I mean, is there a religion okay, check? No, I am. I am proficient in. It's called. It's called lore. Lore. But, yeah. yeah. But it would be the same role either way because okay. that's so, a plus three and my wisdom's with, a plus three. With a tin lore roll, uh, eh. <laughs> uh That's some force, force shit. Yeah, the force the force works in many ways. The force can has infinitesimal uh applications. You've st- attempted to study it all, but you're only so so old. You've only had so much time, and things have been a little hectic lately. No Jedi archive to speak of anymore. Uh yeah. As far as we know. I'm also, sure if, I've seen a Jedi do you've it. You've heard of certain Jedi, a, a specific certain one. Uh, he was a master that... Something about touching things. <laughs> but rumors are rumors and your memory's being shoddy right now. <laughs> She's just leaving. There is no there is no explanation being willfully given. We're just going. We're her leaving. We're crunch, going. Her boots crunch Also, on the glass. is no just... one gonna give me their name? I, I gave you mine. Uh, you're being very rude as we're all just running out. Not not in public right now. Uh, uh, Cal's just going up to... Uh, Cal's just gonna go up to Ash and just... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use, I'm, I'm gonna use Force Whisper uh, okay. with her because that's what I can do. Uh, Kalshin Famir. Uh, she's, it's still weird. It's still very weird to hear thoughts in her head that are not her own. Uh, but she, it takes her a second to process, okay, this is, this is okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, this, and then she, she nods. Not what I, not what I meant for, but okay. <laughs> um, and, uh, Nyx is just gonna go, uh, is just gonna say, introductions can be later, let's move. So where are you all going? Yeah, yeah. Well, gonna where, show up. If you're following Raishda, specifically, where's Raishda going? Yeah. Uh... To her own apartment. <laughs> so you get back in the turbo lift. Uh, as you as you pass by, there's like two more security droids, and uh, yeah, we'll say I rolled a dice for it. Like as you're getting in the turbo lift, there's a uh, so Clone Wars has been over for five years, uh, but like there's similar technology. So there's a detective droid and they look eerily similar to the strategy droids that the uh separatists used to use they're kind of bulky Mm. and square they're uh (laughs) Mm. and it's kind of walking by with two security droids uh but it none of they don't even notice you they they've been so slow getting here like the doors close as you notice them walking by they don't notice you um very much so. Uh, Nyx has his hands near his blaster. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, An irritated noise is made, that is all. <laughs> I mean, Cal will just kind of have his hand on his saber, but no more than that. So, uh, nothing of note, I imagine, happened. Well, uh, you walk home. Nothing up of note seems to happen, but if you go into Raystra's apartment, all of you, uh, the moment is yours. Uh, I'm gonna close the door. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sit, mm-hmm. uh, and then I will tell Ash. She says, "My name is Raystra," and you can call me Nix. Right. Uh, she just goes back to. She's just gonna make herself uh, coffee. Calf. Well, the, it's calf in Star Wars. It's very whatever. important. Apparently. It's very important. Apparently, it's very dumb, but it's calf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, going to make. I'm going to make myself some coffee. <laughs> well, for the rest of you, I'm Kalshin Famir. She Do you looks- use blue milk or green milk to create your coffee? <laughs> Right, bold of you to assume Raystra puts milk in her coffee. I was about to say incredibly yeah. bold of you to assume that it isn't just a mug of pure espresso. Coffee isn't supposed to taste good. It's supposed to taste like shit to make you remember when the good times are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, she looks at uh, she looks at Nix, uh, and she says, um, "We don't have to worry about it. It's fine." Uh, do you know? Do you somehow know what happened? Uh, yeah, it's fine. We don't have to worry about it. Well, what did you say? Somebody who got what they fucking deserved. That's all. Apparently, uh, it's something that we don't have to worry about. Nope. What uh, what has Raystra concluded happened? Yeah. Uh, it seems like it because I I would imagine I know this girl. Uh, At you're least, you're only aware of her uh, exotic dancer name, which is Glitter Spice. Yeah. Uh, it's, Again, it's I don't. I would imagine her. we're not friends, but I yeah. would imagine that I know her a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't. From what I saw, it doesn't seem like she did this on purpose. It seems like it was somebody got too handsy and she got scared and she she said no, he did not accept no, and then uh, yeet. So yes. as far as race, she yeet him. So yeah. So as far as uh, her her hands, it seems. Uh no. Uh, as based on your she this weak way was head and shoulders above her. She's a little uh, she's dexterous, of course, because she's a dancer. But she is doesn't... a thinly built, uh, and you don't. Oh, then it you don't think, doesn't matter. You don't think you could, with only your physicality, shove someone far enough out that they fall five levels? Oh, then it do- then it double doesn't matter. She's no, uh, uh-uh, uh, nothing. Nope, it's fine. Oh, don't then she, she she must have fucking force pushed them. She must have, but I'm not gonna. She, as far as Raystra is concerned, uh. She's not using her powers irresponsibly. She did it to protect her own life. That's on her ass, so she's fine. It's make fine. a, we're, make we're a, a history it. check. Oh, that's good. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's not great. Um, five? Oof. Um... He's gonna uh, he's gonna look at Raystra for a moment and go. Ray, I need you to be honest with me. She shrugs. She's not lying. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take off his helmet. Mm. Oh, don't do this! <laughs> not the puppy dog eyes. <laughs> no, he's gonna look her dead. He's gonna look her dead in the eyes. Mm. How important is the situation? Uh... The worst. I fucking hate it when you do this. Insufferable. <sighs> Fine. They were in some kind of skirmish. He was being an asshole, and she might have force pushed him out the window. Everyone felt the dark side energy that happened in the moment. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> everyone but Nix. Yeah, but yeah, but the dark. Yeah, but she, like, like I mean, I know that like. We're, we'll it's, resolve that history that check right now. doesn't mean anything. We'll like, resolve that history. Fear. Let me let me resolve that history check for you. With a five, yeah. you don't remember details, but you've done this before. When crimes, I have, when crimes can't, like, no, wait, wait, wait. When crimes can't be solved, certain certain parties are sent to investigate in case it's force shit. Yeah. <sighs> And as I said, nobody in their right mind, even you and your muscles, do you think that you could push a man it's, that far out? It's fine. We just have to not be here when someone shows up. And what would someone be? We talk in we talk in moth, we talk in Oh, not for not for someone falling out a window in Coruscant. Come on. Alright, well then how far away do we need to be f- away from here? Well, I mean, if, I in theory, if we're at work, then they might. Then the only then they might question us there because she was the girl was from work. So just not in the usual haunts. That's all. If anything, we can go grocery shopping. We can try and go grocery shopping on a higher level and have a good enough alibi that we saw nothing. We were we were saw nothing. We were nowhere near it. Actually, I was careful. No one saw me. I know exactly how to resolve that five. So with that five in in history, 
you remember, uh, you've never done it, but second sister told you once mm. when, when it's nearly clear that force use was detected, someone is sent and either someone is brought back or a body is reported. Um, DM, would mm. I, at, at this point, knowing Raystra, would Nyx know about the Inquisition? That's up to Raystra. Uh, she probably would have, to be honest, I don't know if she would get that deep into it. I think she'd have told you the generalities. I don't think that she would have been, yeah. like, she, would, he, she wouldn't have explained how it works. She wouldn't have named okay. names. She it's... would have just said, we were force enforcers <laughs> or something like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Uh, basically, it's... we were, we were sorcery muscle is probably something along the lines. Like, she wouldn't. Because, again, it's better, she knows it's better for him if she doesn't tell him everything, because then he can't, then they can't pull information out of him he doesn't have. Wouldn't, wouldn't stop the Empire uh, from trying, but sure. It wouldn't, it yeah. wouldn't, but, like, but it's, it, it'd be worse for him, he'd be worse off if, if they had to pull information out of him, because she knows he wouldn't tell people, but if they have to pull information out of him that he has, it'll be worse for him than if they just do it the one time, realize there's nothing, and then Kill him they might not let him go, but <laughs> they, you know, they might not let him go, but they're not going to fuck him up nearly as badly. Either way, if they I'm find fine. out that he's um, lying. Let me tell myself I'm protecting him, okay? <laughs> she, in, in, she, it's better, f she thinks it's better. I know that this is stupid, but in yeah. character, she would believe that it's better for him to not have the info than for him to have it. Her whiz is not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nyx is going to look over to... Uh, I'm, I keep forgetting your character's name, Silver. I'm sorry. Calphine. Calphine. Uh, he's going to look over to Calphine. What do you know about Inquisitors? Uh, DM. That would be a, a history check. Ash is just sitting there. The DC's um, pretty high because like, you've been in hiding hey. for a while. Yeah. Well, the DC's pretty high, but, I mean, not 20, so 23. 23 is enough. Uh, you've heard... Oh, did he have a run-in? Well, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm wondering. I don't think so. We'll resolve this like this. Uh, you weren't always in these low levels. You made your way down. Uh, and there was a time when something very similar to this happened. A crime happened, and it was weird uh the authorities couldn't solve it and all you heard was the rumors about an individual clad in black a weapon of of scary proportions at, at their hip and getting information any way possible and then they were only there a day and things uh and apparently things are back to normal and the crime as if it had never happened only the people that were eyewitnesses remember. I Pepperidge Farm remember. <laughs> I've heard stories. People. Well, that's good enough. We might have a situation where one of them gets involved. So. Who? Okay. And what? What? What are <laughs> we Ash. gonna? What? <laughs> Nothing. She she puts a hand in front of. She looks at Ash and then puts her hand out in front of Nick's and she goes. No one and nothing. But Kalshin, especially with that 23, you know, just putting all that together, that uh, if Raystra has revealed who did it, and if you know if Nick, what Nick says is true and what you remember is a true through line, Glitter Spice is in very much danger. <laughs> She's oh, not. She's no. not just. She's not just no. a murderer on the run. She is. A, yeah. She puts a. a she puts a hand in right front now. of him and she says, "No, no." Raystra, come on. No, we are no. It's been. We've been here for years. We've been avoiding bullshit for years. I am not going to end nearly half a decade of hiding because. Because one of the company girls couldn't keep her shit together. She's no. a kid. We can't, we can't just... Come on. Break stuff. No. You're telling me that you're willing to let a kid get caught by your group. 
if you... And she just stops. Uh, and he's actually gonna, like, take a moment and go, fuck. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna break your fucking neck with my bare hands. I swear to God! She just fucking puts... She puts her hands through her hair and she goes, fucking... No! Cal kind of puts a hand on... Well, he more just taps Ray's uh, shoulder. When you do that, just uh, real quick, make a make a wisdom check. Sure. Ooh. I like this a lot. Um, That's a 22. Ooh. You see the force is a tree, a great tree, yeah, like, yes. like the world tree in Norse mythology. Every every other living thing is the branches or the vines or the buds. Uh, when you <clears throat> look at Raystra with your physical eyes, but then also open yourself up to the force, it is... Her bud is there, and it's actually very large and strong, but it is... It has all these splotches and uh, of, like, wilting just in different spots, and it's like... It, they're 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 never going away. They're very. It it, lo it looks like they go deep. It's very rooted in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the minute that he touches Racer, then he like sort of almost recoils. Yeah. And then just yeah, takes that's why she just she just stops and goes, yeah, that's that's about what I fucking expected. Just takes a deep breath. The force is different for many creatures. It runs through differently. Yeah, yeah. The I believe in, in weird perhaps, ways. I believe perhaps it will be fine. Don't worry about it. I will see what I can do to get your friend out of this predicament. Wait a minute. You? Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's. I'm not stop affiliated. For a second. All right. I'm not affiliated with your group in any way, and to be frank. I don't mean this in any sort of offensive term, but I'm an actual Jedi. I'm very used to running. She's gonna, gonna, uh, she's gonna, gonna, gonna sit back in her chair her. and she gives Nix a, she gives him the look of stop me, I'm going to hurt him. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna put he, he's at first he crosses his arms and then he like instinctively puts his arm in front of Raystra. Uh and go Buddy, I'm a fucking clone deserter. What the fuck do you mean you know what it means to be running? Let alone her. And let alone her. He's going to mention Ash. We're all fucked in this situation. So, we can't... <laughs> Here's our decision. We either, A, help out some kid that we barely even know from being caught by the Inquisition. Or B, we stick to the original plan, try to find a ship and get off his Coruscant, possibly today, if we can manage it. We're not getting off Coruscant today. If we can manage it. Just to make something painfully clear for in-character, Braystra, you know for a fact that if they send an Inquisitor... Glitter Spice would be lucky if they kill her. The alternative is not They pretty. turn her into an Inquisitor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she's Rachel. not. And it's, that. it's honestly a coin flip because she's like teenage years at this point. So. <laughs> Raystra, what are the kids' odds? Bad. Either she dies or they take her and she dies. She's not... She's not strong enough to survive that, even if they take her. And she'll 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 relent. She'll fold. They all do. And then it takes a couple of months, and then they're dead anyway. He's gonna he's gonna glance over to Ash. What do you think? Ash is just she has, she's been sitting here quiet this whole time while the adults argue. She is an adult, but like she's she's not she has no the knowledge of any of this. <laughs> she has no knowledge of any of this. 
Jesus. It, it depends. Um, <laughs> wrong accent. But do we have any chance? Well, yeah. <laughs> We this, do? this sounds like <laughs> yeah all right okay Nick's actually like tilts his head at that one wait we actually have like a chance against one of these things okay so the thing is i okay she kind of just sighs and she's like fine fine fuck both of you fine and she she sits and she's like all right so i have one of the biggest things that ended up backfiring was that they taught me how to how to kill you. She points at Cal. I could kill you six different ways right now. I was specifically trained on how to put you down if you said no. The benefit of that is I also know all of the shit that they were trained to do and I know how to do it. And she gestures to the Mando armor. I was also taught how to counter that. Cal just kind of looks... Is... Cal just kind of looks back and forth between Nyx and, Nyx and Raystra. Just... I truly am in the perfect place. Yeah. Cal, that definitely, because of what you remember of what happened in that spot... Like this confirms like all your fears. You were oh, like, trucks. they sent they sent somebody, and these people must be like death agents. And now it's like, and now it's like I, all your nightmares. I, 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 yeah, I, I can say if, this. If, I'm definitely sitting closer to Ash now. <laughs> if if we have a chance to actually help her, then we should. I need. If it's hopeless, then our hands are tied. I need. So, I need something first. What do you need? I need... Oh God, what the fuck was the word for it? I need a slug thrower. They do call them slug oh, throwers, I yes. Yeah, I, would I know what that is? If it's, a, if, it's a, if it's an actual, like, weapon, would Ash know what that is? Yes. Slug throwers are the word for ballistic... <laughs> yeah, ballistic oh. uh, weapons. Slugs are what they call the bullets and throw slugs. There are many different kinds. The most common, I believe, is the Leica blunderbuss. It. Well, why would you need <laughs> something like that? Because. Because Jedi can't block it. Yeah, she points to the she points to the to Cal's lightsaber. That gets rid of blaster fire. With a bolt thrower, with a slug thrower, it turns the slug into shrapnel. They can't block all of it. You can cut it in half, but it'll still fuck you up in the process. If I can get a if I can get a slug thrower, and I can wait, I can probably I can probably take out one, maybe. DM. Yeah. May I roll D percentile to see if I already have one as a as a contingency plan? Uh. I must say no. <laughs> Two reasons. Okay, that's fair. It's not, it, you wouldn't have been assigned one. So it wouldn't that's have been something fair. you kept along. And I don't know, it has been five years, but uh, you were in hiding, not. She so, also was not volunteering the fact of like, yeah, this yeah. is how you kill Jedi. <laughs> this is how you kill Jedi. Also, uh, but real quick, also, I do want a dice roll. Grace, try make an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, I might be able to make one, but that takes time that we don't have, so... That's... That's actually not bad. Big surprise. You guys keep Cal, going, gotta use the bathroom real quick. Yeah. Cal definitely feels very... Plus very one. alone. All his friends... <laughs> all his friends want to kill him, or is Ash. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not considered a friend, nor... <laughs> Sad. <laughs> No, you're considered a friend. All his friends either want to kill him or are you. Yeah. It's true. Twelve. Twelve? Uh, your brain has gone on Mandalorian combat mode. It's like, all right, we'll set it out. Slug thrower. <laughs> but then your brain stops and you remember, <laughs> you remember what made you go down this line of logic to begin with. An Inquisitor is sent if the crime is deemed... 
I believe the 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 uh what's the word I'm looking for? Oh goodness. Uh the official or the official like uh diplomatic word is unnatural. Uh but your brain thinks they will only send an inquisitor if the crime is deemed unnatural. Hmm. I mean, what if we change the nature of the crime? If you want to fuck with an official investigation, you can do that without me. Fuck this. I'd rather uh, kill an inquisitor. <laughs> yes, already <laughs> wants to. If if we can if we can simply provide evidence to the fact that the body was simply either pushed or blasted out. The fucking, it goes in the room from the two fucking, like, action game players being like, we can just kill the Inquisitor to the two fucking Ace Attorney players going, we can rig this crime. <laughs> well, I mean, like, what's the, what's the likelihood of someone going through a window being considered, uh, the weird. Um, I would um, say the person who pushed him. Also, the lack of injury on the body. The force yeah. doesn't really leave much. I, I'm. I mean, to be to, to. I mean, to be fair, it did go through a window in shattered glass, and it did fall onto a railing. That, well, what what uh, Kalshin is saying is that there would only be marks on his back. There would be no signs of struggle other than the literal little fall that killed him. You can break his wrists if you want, but I don't know what good that's going to fucking do. <laughs> well, I personally believe the most that we really need to do is simply either add blaster fires to his chest or perhaps just bruise him. I can fucking lean out the window and do that right now. Kalshin just have, gestures to the window. Out the window. You're going to have to get up there and make it precise. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Ugh, shit. The only issue is I only have this, and he pulls out his pistol. And this is not sending buddy, somebody through the fucking window. Hmm. Uh, Ash, make a tech yeah. check. This is a tech check, right? Uh, would that just be intelligence? Because that's my casting stat. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Uh, with no proficiency, that's a 17. <clears throat> you know for a fact that there are tools and weapons that are concussive. That if push came to shove, pun intended, uh, <laughs> there are weapons out there that could send someone flying through a window. Uh, certain sound concussive blasts uh so you can do with that knowledge what you will let's see if i can muffle that uh, blast uh, any. does does anyone have any weapon that can make a concussive blast i don't think i would I don't, I, yeah i don't have that well to make to make things clear you feel like either they're gonna either they're gonna deem this as unnatural or there or if evidence is found to point to it that they're going to deem that a weapon like that was used oh. we it, or to... if we can mimic a concussive blast on the body then maybe uh, oh, i mean a concussive blast can... was put on the body <laughs> that much is no, clear. Here's what we do. yeah basically what he's saying is if we find something that can do it and just hide it badly where are we gonna where are we gonna find something like that? Would it, my there is an investigation in the middle of it right now. Can I can I roll to see if I know a guy? <sighs> yeah, sure. We'll, so I we'll see. Can I give her? Can I actually can help. I help her with that? I think so. Yeah, that would be history through and through, right? <laughs> roll the, roll the advantage, Lore, yeah. <laughs> help. Uh, oh, that's way better. <laughs> uh. 13? Well, there is the Tidarian. <laughs> yeah, I don't... 
I don't want to owe him more favors. I don't want to owe him any more favors either, but he's more, more likely to have something like that and not far. <sighs> I mean, not far. He's about like, he's a good few levels up. You'd have to get in the turbo lift and. We'd, one of us would have to get into the turbo lift, get it, get it back here quickly before the Inquisitor shows up. I hate this. I what hate my... So, sweetheart, mm-hmm. my the husband of mine, yeah. DM, mm-hmm. uh, I have the cryogenic burst at will, tech mm-hmm. power, cantrip, whatever you want to call it. Would mm-hmm. that suffice? Uh, no, that's ice. Not really anything to do with launching somebody. I don't. I don't think I've sold this enough. Like, this apartment was had a street with railing. The man was sent flying over the street and over the railing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. We yeeted, we basically... He was yeeted. If you he was dark New side York yeeted. Block, yeah. Yeeted him out of a brownstone onto the other side Side of the street, yes, yeah. So, no, this was... He got, he got fucking booted, my dude. Yeah. So, no. She's just fine, fine, fine. I She points it, Nyx, I hate you. Listen, I'm the only one trying to find a find a fucking solution for all of this. The other one that wants to you could toss do it under a rug. solution. Tossing it under a rug doesn't make the mess go away. It, it, that's <laughs> she gestures to the she gestures like just vaguely, and she's like, "That's literally by definition what they do. The definition of the job is to make the mess go away." When you say that, I won't even let you make a check. Uh, you, you also realize, like, oh yeah, they're, they're not only trained to kill, they're trained to find. And if one winds up down here, it's a, it's a dice roll on which Force-sensitive they find and blame this crime on. She has straight up, until this exact day, has not used her powers in fucking public. Nobody saw shit. It's true, but the and Force works in mysterious not- ways. They... <laughs> Some uh, not you, just... not not you, because you sucked at it. Your psychometry was a good tool, but there are sensing powers that, just, you know, uh, divination, if you will. It'll be fucking <laughs> that fine. That certain inquisitors they, have been trained they in. C- they could pick up on our force signatures, regardless if we were there or not. Boy, right. Cody, does right, that right, suck right, for right, the right. two of you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you, you count too, Missy. You left. Dark side right. uh, resonates stronger as you. Literally since, you know, minutes ago. Oh, I didn't God. fucking use any of my dark side powers, fucker. It doesn't still, matter. I don't, I, uh, let me, let me explain it. Like, the force is flowing, like, you can, Jedi to an extent can turn it off. But only to an extent. Like, that's how, that's how, you know, she Vader never, know Vader never sensed Obi-Wan because Obi-Wan was planets away and he never, like, reached out. It takes, it takes reaching out, but when you were within proximity, it's like a it's like a radiation. It's like a vibe. She would not um, know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nyx is gonna say, "All right, uh, give me something, Basco." <laughs> Her eyebrows go up. No. You know as well as I do, he's not gonna trade for something so quickly unless we offer something, Basco. He can have one of my fucking fingers before he takes my Baskar. Just like a wrist gauntlet. I promise you, I will get it back. No. When have I said you wrong? This conversation, man! <laughs> right now, currently, we are in the middle of a conversation. All right. Do you have a better solution? Give me your helmet. He's not going to buy that. Wait, you want my helmet? What do you yeah. want my helmet? You think you think old school clone tech isn't useful to someone? There are dime a dozen at this point. Old school yeah. clone tech is illegal. <laughs> and yeah. and clone helmets are a dime a dozen. It's only five years after the Clone Wars. Clones are being dis- discontinued. Uh, there, there are trash bins filled with the stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll sell your shit. Yeah, we'll sell your shit for scrap and pay that with the coin. How does it feel, fucker? I'm literally asking <sighs> you two. Which one of you has cl- credits? I have credits. How much? I have, I have, I have, a job. I have 150 credits. I guess <laughs> that, that might do. Hand it over. Uh, I, I guess if it will help, I I hand all of my money to Nix. <laughs> all right. Oh no. I will be right back. 
You three find a better sp spot to hide. <sighs> All right. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, he's going to give his bag to uh, Ash. Don't lose that. Uh, I won't, I promise. Uh, and then he's gonna leave. I will go with. Um, I will also go with. Yeah, you also. She turns around, she looks at you, and just points, stay. No. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Raystra? What? You know I love you. He's caused enough fucking problems today. We're not no, doing. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about him. I need him. Why? What did Cal do? Bracer <laughs> <laughs> just hates him. Because on I might. <laughs> because Bracer was a previous Inquisitor and a Mandalorian. Like I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I say this. I was a real Jedi to the person. Yeah. Fucking so no, she hates you on principle. All right. Cal doesn't know. It's... To be fair, no. But he doesn't. No, but she, gonna... she. He doesn't need to. She's not. She hates you on principle. Uh, Nix is gonna look at uh, at Raystra, because if they do show up, we need someone to cover her. And he points at Ash. And this guy's never faced an Inquisitor before. Am I she... supposed to just? Stay here by myself. No. I mean, Lemmy, I love not. you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I'm, look, it's just been him and me for a while now, and I'm not staying by myself. <laughs> she looks almost a little hurt. Brace, Jack. Listen. No, it's fine. And then she just turns around and she goes back. Oh my god. It's like. You with me. I'm gonna point to I'm gonna point to Cal and, and leave. Alright. Uh it appears that I'm going this way. Ash can go as well. I don't think there's anything stopping. There's nothing stopping from everyone going as a party to this person, but yeah. Nix clearly does not want this to happen. <laughs> I just like the idea of everybody just leaves with him. I I said I needed one of you. Better in uh, numbers? And I'm not supposed to leave her alone. You can. You are just. You. <laughs> ah, I'm. I'm. Oh, I'm putting my helmet on and I'm leaving. If, if all of you look, follow me, all of you follow me. <laughs> we're all. We're all in this. Look, this whole situation is part spit. Pardon my language, but like <laughs> we we're we're stuck together now. We should look. Fine. 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 We're Can friends, right? Do you actually say that? No, I, I'm asking that as a person. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, good. This Rachel's... is this is all fucking gold. Oh, Don't stop. You're a very good actress, and yeah. I felt that. No, we're still friends. Yeah. We're still friends. We friends. My character's just a lot. She's happy. being she's being a little stinky. It'll get better. She's being a nerfer. It's it's, it's fine. Of myriad of things. It's no, fine. It, it, she's being a critter. I. I'll be fair. I probably shouldn't have said real Jedi. I uh, um, it, it makes sense. Listen. No, you, in in character, it made perfect sense. Liter I, literally, I, 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 I character. The minute you said it, I was like, oh, yes, role play yeah. opportunity. Yeah, good. It, we'll we'll aside for just say it was so perfect because like this is a moment where it's like we could save this child and Rachel said no, that's her problem. And so like of course Cal would be like, well, you're not a Jedi. <laughs> yeah, no, it totally makes sense. <laughs> totally makes sense. My logic yeah. was just like, it's okay, neither of you have to risk your lives, I'll just go and do it. Yeah. It's fine. A white savior complex, this is great. I love everything about these characters. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, all very good. Is he, also, not is he technically a white... Not a Lin Is he technically complex. a white savior if he's also a race that the Empire doesn't like? He's a, he's a Jedi savior. He, he might have to unlearn some toxic Jedi things before this campaign's <laughs> over. <laughs> it's almost like that's also part of why she hates you. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now. I just love the mental image of saying, "All right, you with me, let's go." And then we all leave, and then it just jumps up Cal inside the inside the elevator. Yeah. Cal just, <laughs> Cal just going. kind of Cal just kind of goes. Yes, General. First off. 
weird. I, first off, that made me like uncomfortable for no reason. <laughs> that gave me osteoporosis. Stop this kind of pats Nick's on the shoulder. It's, it's okay, I believe. There may be both of us that uh, have to work out uh, emotions. He's gonna he's gonna look at you and then look at the head on his shoulder and then back to you. You don't really socialize a lot, do you? Um, not a lot of people to socialize with. Fair enough. All right, I'm gonna take point. He likes me more than he likes her. <laughs> she rolls her eyes. You get in the turbo lift and you hit the button for thirteen thirteen. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I get it. Uh, it takes a while. <laughs> it's just kind of awkward silence. No. no, you just hear <laughs> the lo-fi remix. Uh... <laughs> no, that, no, no, you hear that no, elevator. I know, this, I know this song just came out, but I feel like I'm hearing it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, gosh darn, they have a band. They have a band name. Hold on. <laughs> It does seem it's, their big, it's their big indie breakout hit. It's on the radio all the fucking time. I'm so tired doesn't, of it. Doesn't Ash work on 1313? Figrin Dan and the Moldal Nudes notes. Figrin Dan and the Moldal Nodes. This is this is their big indie hit. Yeah, they, this is their breakout. Doesn't doesn't Ash work on 1313? Yes. Uh but you've never heard of a Tordarian selling weapons. That's something you're just not, you're like, huh? <laughs> That's a. Uh, I mean, I work on thirteen thirteen, but that's a little weird, even for me. The one person mildly unaware of most extended universe Star Wars things, sitting here wondering, did Ben make this up, or is this a reference that I'm not getting? He made it up. <laughs> this is going to be me ninety nine percent of this campaign. And to, is this a reference? One of you is this a reference, or did one of you make this up? Uh, and just to be one million percent clear, this Tordarian will not have a Middle European accent. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'm thinking New York accent, and I apologize in advance. That's fine. <laughs> we, could, we could I, I be racist, I, but we're not going to. I'm choosing to. not to, yeah. Some people get I uncomfortable. I came up not... with the concept of this character just because I really like the idea of, like, the two of them thinking this over. <laughs> Hate this. <laughs> Hate uh, this. Hate. Today sucks. Just in a bad mood in general. <laughs> listen, poor Rachel. Listen, again. I'm I'm open to new, uh, to better ideas if you got them. Jin is trending on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's because of uh, Figure and Dan and the and the model nodes. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I like the earlier stuff, but this one, uh, and I know this one's popular and it's catchy. It's gonna stick in your head for the rest of the it, for the fucking rest of your life. But like, I just. Do not get the appeal of it. Nick's being a music hipster <laughs> gives me a life. <laughs> I liked them before they hit big. <laughs> Figuring Dan is my I, guy. I don't. I don't mind it so much to work to personally. <laughs> I have. I gave you an idea. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a very good one. <laughs> we kill it. Do <laughs> we kill all our problems? <laughs> It so does it does it or does it not solve the problem? It solves the problem in on the short term, maybe. Give it buys us time, but then we got like you know, uh, it, it, like depending on how well we do it, I, I really doubt we're going to be able to do it stealthily without leaving a fucking footprint. I'll I'll spin this peek behind the curtain with like a check that Raystra doesn't need to make. Uh, Burke was technically right. Inquisitors are not CR one. <laughs> Well, no, of course not. Yeah, so so do with that knowledge what you will. No, of yeah. Inquisitor not. greater than symbol CR1. <laughs> yes. They're definitely bigger than CR1. I, yeah. need you to under I need you to understand that I'm role-playing this from a perspective of as far as Raystra knows, if she dies or if we just leave her, it'll be fine. Because why would it be anything else? I am trying... Listen... Brooke made her comment, and now I'm wildly insecure. Yeah, it's fine. I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm, I'm just making clear that it has been five years. You haven't been Inquisitor trained in a good, like, three of them. Uh, yeah, so as far as I you're, know, like, you, you, find her, find the problem, it'll be over, it'll be fine. If, if there's some, if there's some, uh... What's the word? Self-reflection that goes on, you will realize you're a little rusty. 
and maybe you can't go i mean even before it was hard to go toe to toe with your fellow inquisitors <laughs> I want the slug thrower because if I sneak up on him, then maybe, maybe, <laughs> then maybe. <laughs> That's With why time. she prefaced it with, "If I have a slug thrower and the upper hand, and they don't know I'm there, then maybe I can kill." Him. I love, I love this. Yeah. this I love this about Raystra. It's like I will kill it, but the odds never tell me the odds. <laughs> no, I'll never kill it. <laughs> with with a bit of reimbursement, uh, looks at Nix and some time. I could, I can make one probably. That would be great. I would like one in the future. Thank you. Bing! Doors open. Uh, 13, 13 is bustling. Any time of yeah. night, 13, 13. Th this is, this is the, the meeting play. It, this is where the CD starts to get CD, but it's not like crappy CD, like where you're uh, from. Is it, does the Empire have a good influence here? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, at I mean, at it's, it's, it's Coruscant, Ben! I, I don't mean, know what you expected! Yes. At level... At, I said at level 1000, there's no, uh, you know, only droids uh, patrolling. Yeah. At 1313, there's, like, a soldier or two. At, at this time of night. Right. Uh, will, Storm, will Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper in security armor, you know, with some, like, will, blue stripes. Will punch a Stormtrooper. <laughs> On command. At request. <laughs> So uh, not even not even needed. We'll but, do it on But site. like I said, it's bustling. There are crowds. You don't uh If stormtroopers are not CR one half, I will be disappointed. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh <laughs> Stormtroopers are nothing. But it's not even not a it. stealth check and also you're not doing anything illegal. So like you you just kind of yeah. squeeze through the through the bustling streets and yep. uh I was about to say, why would we make a stealth check? We're not breaking the law currently. Yeah. You know exactly like... where you're going. There's a CD alley. It's well known amongst people who know what they're doing, like Nyx and Rishra. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> at the back of it is uh, a tarp. And it's <laughs> it looks non-assuming, but you know what's there. You kind of like, the tarp is making like this sort of tent, and you kind of just like, not nah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta flap the tarp pat the pat the pat the, the tarp <laughs> uh and uh some words are said in a language none of you know i don't think any of you speak Tordarian. uh <laughs> uh no i no i don't speak Tordarian. i speak hatiz but i don't speak Tordarian. uh i but speak bandola that's it there, there's some Tordarian words some hatiz words blend in all of them are swears there's a poodoo in there uh, <laughs> Unbelievable! Uh, <laughs> the audacity! And then, like, all right, 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 coming. And uh, before uh, you is a is a Tordarian. This one, he's green. Ooh, uh, green Tordarian, rare. <laughs> the thing I don't know if that's rare or not. I bullshit that one. You uh, hold on. I think I have a random name. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? No. But hold on. I have a generator. <laughs> Don't first you want one. Embassy name generator. Yes, first it's so one. great. First one, maybe. First one. <gasps> yes, Zlig. Zlig, I love Zl it. Zlig, Z L I G. Zlig, excellent, terrible. I, I love I, it. It's perfect. It's so perfect. Zlig dog is before Zlig you. Zlig dog. The he's, he's not a pleasant green like. Uh, the Twi'lek that, that is the person of interest right now. He is, in fact, yeah. a sickly, like, puke green with splotches. Uh, his nose is not as long as most Tordarians. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he's insecure about that. Who knows? <laughs> I was literally about... You beat me to the joke by three seconds. I was about to say he's very insecure. Don't bring it up. <laughs> uh, he, uh, the most notable things, especially to the two people that have never met this man, uh, he has no wings. He, in fact has these metal contraptions with, like, kind of, like, levers and, uh, what's the word? Pistons. And when he opens the door, like, they're free, free, free. They're flapping, and he is flying. None of you could say how. It breaks all laws of aviation. Okay. <laughs> Much like bees. <laughs> Much like bees. It breaks all laws of aviation. And uh, one eye uh, is cybernetic, and it glows a similar green to his skin. Uh, what and was his name again? Zlig. Zlig Dolg. Zlig. Zlig, how you doing? It, the, the, like, his real eye narrows and his cybernetic eye kind of <laughs> narrows. 
you you have your voice distorter on, right? Yes. Of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 Uh, always. As if he's like searching always, through the It's always bags. on whenever my helmet is on. And I'm gonna have to pretend to be good at a New York accent. That's fine. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I remember you. Okay, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> I'm gonna come in. How's business been? That's none of your business. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you have business. Least. What business? I imagine. You don't waste my time. We're looking for something on the more concussive side. Something that could probably knock a I don't know, fully grown Twi'lek off their feet and through a window. Why specifically a Twi'lek? That's it specific. I don't know. They're humanoid. It's not, it's not exactly specific. I'm just giving you a general that's idea. Like saying, that's like saying a weak way. They're all, they're all the same shape and size. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. They're all the same to me. Very true. <laughs> Yeah, the same to me. He looks a fully grown humanoid, <laughs> as I said. Fine. <laughs> I might have something. Oh wow! Jeez, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely has something. <laughs> Self defense gadget. He like goes. There's just a big trunk, and he like opens it. Well, he puts a code. It's it's definitely it's got a code lock, and he's like, pip, 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 pip. there's like way too many digits in this code, <laughs> and then uh, opens it up. There's like cartoon cat squeal noises. <laughs> As he like, <laughs> like this, this this magic what the hell? this magic trunk has so many things in it. Yeah. Ah. This was outlawed. <laughs> long time ago by the Republic, but it meant for self-defense, and it's a it's a kind of oh god, I hate that I'm about to say this. You know those like wrist disc launchers that I think had to do with Bin Tin or some cartoon that yeah yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. it looks like that. It, it's it's kind of like a half circle, and the half circle part is just kind of hollow, and you imagine that's where the concussive blast comes out of, and it goes on one's wrist. Got it. It doesn't, well, it doesn't hurt much, but, you know, send someone flying. Rare, send though. Somebody flying. Like I said, it's it's illegal. Good to know. As uh, far as the Empire's concerned, anyway, not me. I don't care about the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Who does these days? Uh, all right. Uh, how much? Uh, now, let me think. It is rare. I think about how credits work. Hold on, I'm looking at the equipment tab. Uh, ooh. How much you got? <laughs> there's there's a sheen in his, there's a sheen in both his real eye and his metal eye. This is what Tordarians look for. I have twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I have twelve dollars and this chicken nugget. We got. I I. <laughs> so I, I gave everything I had. Yeah, to, you to did. Nick, you did. So um, he's gonna say we have about one hundred and sixty-five credits. And a favor. Mm. <laughs> you already owe me a couple of those. Contrasting hmm noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know I'm good on it. You uh, haven't given me a call for a favor yet, though. Is everyone concealing their weapons, by the way? Tell me how. Sure. Uh, yeah. Specifically the Jedi with their fucking lightsaber. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, the lightsaber is oh, no. always concealed, but the, oh, the rest no. of it, no. <laughs> Cal, uh, Cal is waving around his lightsaber as it is ignited. And <laughs> <laughs> Give us what we want. Give us what we want. Waving around like a glow stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rage. Cracks his lightsaber on like a glow stick. <laughs> his is double sided, right? Or did you say it was only single sided? It's single sided. Uh, okay. But he he does look the new parties up and down like. What are these books? New faces. Uh, I, I know that. <laughs> I'm not stupid. They're harmless. <laughs> tourists. Showing them around, trying to make sure they get some good proper protection. Oh, so I'm a tourist trap now. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, we're in 1313, after all. Got to show the right sites. Best places, right? It's supposed to be a secret, this place is. And it will remain a secret. Criffing, Don't you worry. Criffing poodoo. <laughs> but watch the language. There's a, there's a young lady here. I am an adult. I don't know how many times I have to keep yeah, telling that's... you. I 
Yeah, that's pot spit. That's the I, young lady. Yeah, the young y'all, lady. Y'all? No, no, he's telling Nick's what he said is pot spit. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you want to hold on him? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets equal treatment here as long as they got the credits. Uh, <laughs> of which and I do what I want in my establishment. Yeah, Absolute see, agreement. See, 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 see. So, are we, do we have a deal? <sighs> he looks down at the thing, looks at you. The DM thinks of a favor he could ask. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm good at making things if that sweetens the deal. Don't offer abilities. He's like I like under his breath. He's like, don't offer abilities. We have all the cards. Yeah, you really don't know how bartering works, there, young lady. I'm new to this. Clearly, shit. Shit. He's, just, yeah, he's just he's just gonna put his hand over her mouth. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> Shoot. Ah, so you fix ships then. He like flies right up to Ash <laughs> with the mouth with the hand over her mouth. He's gonna like he's I, gonna like hang his head. And, I and work. I I work here on thirteen thirteen. Yeah. I think I have a favor I could ask. It'll be later. Not right now. No 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 no. It's fine. But I need the credits right now. And he places you, the credits right in his hand. Got you about the favor. And he like. Puts the thing mm. in your hand. <laughs> Get out! Unless you want more. I got blasters. Got a slug thrower? Nah. That's ancient. I'm not in my antique shop. <laughs> this is pretty ancient. You sure about that? And can I make a can I make a perception check to see if he's uh, lying to me? Uh, that would be insight. But sure. Yeah. Cool. One sec. Well, that's not pretty ancient. That's like technology from Republic era. The yeah. Republic bandit. Slug throwers dust, are dust ancient. The... <laughs> Five years ago yeah. is ancient, I guess. Hold on one sec. Uh... Ancient history, so says the so says the Empire. Yeah. Uh, if I can also make an insight Ooh, check, I don't sure. I don't know if it will help because it says that I have advantage on insight checks to determine emotions. Sure. I'll, I'll um, weave rolled, it that way. I rolled a nineteen. You don't think you don't think he's lying? Okay. Twenty one. He's not scared or nervous, so you don't think that means he's lying. He sounded dismissive, and his emotions seem pretty dismissive. Okay. Uh, he really did mean. Nah. He didn't, yeah. He, he didn't have what we're looking <laughs> yeah. for. All right. Mm. That's fine. Not that you can All afford right. one. They're pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. Probably. There's a there's a pause and she God, I don't No, nah, she would. Uh you've been keeping an eye out for me? Uh hold on. If we're establishing that something she asked him to do, roll a <laughs> defo, roll defo. A... That's where the that's where the favor uh he owes she owes him probably came from. Roll a okay, yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, he says, yeah, 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 nothing though. It's like it's, like it's mm. disappeared off the market. It's weird. You wouldn't hold out on me, would you? He like puts his hands on his chest. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> She I'm, she quirks an eyebrow un unmoved. Like, like uh and he he says Slink Dog is a lot of things. A lot of things a lot of people will tell you all those things. But this is Big Dog. <laughs> I made a deal. I would have told you at least. And then sold it to you. All right. I want those credits. That's what I lie. It's true. All right, well, thank you, Slink. We'll keep in touch. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get out of my sweat. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> he just waves you he off. He does, in fact, live here. This man his, is this man is homeless. The, his, wing, <laughs> his wings do creak with every flap. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's very annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just... Um, he will uh, head out if they I'm follow like... him. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. 
Hmm. Disappeared off the market, huh? What are you looking for, by the way? What the fuck do you think? Jesus. All right. Crying. <laughs> Just checking. I'm going to bite my fucking head off every time. Yeah, well. It's not easy to find, and... If he gets it, then he better tell me, because I'll know, i know how he got it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Let's get down there. Let's get to the crime scene, drop this thing off, and then move on like nothing fucking happened. Hmm. Which one of us is the stealthiest? She just looks and just stares at Nyx. I have a plus three. <laughs> I have a plus four. <laughs> I don't know where the piece of paper came from, but it says that I have a plus one in stealth. <laughs> yeah, just stares at Nyx. Uh, Alright, fine. It's your plan, Let's dipshit. Yeah, I know it's my plan. Doesn't mean I'll like it any more than you three do. Mm. <sighs> All right, let's go. Come on. Uh, I have, I have the, I have the weapon like stuffed away. She looks at, she looks at him like, "Come on, where? <laughs> this is on you, big man, not me." Well, you all do get in the elevator, I imagine, and you need to make your way yeah. back down to where you live. So, uh, this time it's, it's actually not a. Uh... <laughs> it's, okay. <laughs> it's a slow. It's a slower. Same band though. Uh, same band. Now this one's a good one. This one I like. It's a classic. And play, <laughs> I wish that I wish they would play this one more. Uh, but I then after it's done, it goes itch. into. <laughs> if I have to listen to you convince about this one more goddamn time, I swear to God. <laughs> listen, you gotta have a hobby and you gotta have the interests, or else you're just going about your fucking life. She gives him a look like what? He just right. like looks at him bewildered. Like what? The... What? Who the you fuck are I... you? Same fucking clone that found you, dipshit. Anyway, unbelievable. Do you all let off at? Uh, it would be nine hundred ninety-eight. Uh, where I the would. body is, or. I'm getting off there. I don't know about you three. Is everyone else mm. getting off at 1,000? Where their mm -hmm. house is? Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm... If we go back to one of our places where we can see Nyx over the side of the edge, I'm keeping an eye. Good luck. Uh, DM, has it been a short rest, by the way? Uh, no, it, it's definitely not an hour in the, in, the, <laughs> in the turbo lift. It's more like, you know, 10 minutes... But, it, you know, 10 minutes in an elevator well, feels like has forever. Been at le has it been at least a short rest since the combat uh, well, uh, at, on the first session? We'll say yeah. Uh, you guys okay, talked cool. for a I'm, while. I'm rolling a, I'm rolling a, I, I'm rolling a hit die because I die, need my yeah. full hit points. Yeah. I forgot that you, you still hurt. <laughs> you did, in fact, get shot. You did, did. get nat 20 Yes. All right, cool. I got my hit. I, I'm, as, I'm, is, as is the clone way, you were shot immediately. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm back to I'm back to full. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, I get off. Does yeah. anybody else get off with me? Nope. Every nope. you're you're no. getting off lower. They'll get off before. So one thousand is okay. hit, but also nine hundred ninety eight. Uh, yeah. So everyone gets off. I imagine goes back. So where does where does the three of you go? We'll just establish that real quick. Uh, I'm going back to my apartment. Um, how how uh. He will say this to Ray. Mm -hmm. If I don't come back, get him off this planet. No, don't do this. <laughs> oh, God, don't give me that horse shit. This is the kind of situ. This is the kind of situation that might do that. And I need you to promise me you're gonna get them off the planet. It's a fucking war movie. Come on now, Jesus. Ray, yeah, right. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Thank you. Cal just kind of speaks up. You survived the Clone Wars. I'm. Confident you can survive this too. The Clone Wars were at the very least direct. Sure. And he's gonna get he's gonna get off the elevator there. Yeah. <laughs> well, they would get off before you. Yeah. You still need to go to uh, down. Then the doors close and it's yeah. real dramatic yeah. and full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just he's he's gonna do the same uh, motion that Han Solo does when th when things are leaving. He just does the two figure salute thing. I love you. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> British Red Nicks really do bigger like a married couple, though. So. That's fact. Uh, platonic, platonic married couple. The platonic odd couple. Yeah. They're, li- they're literally in real life. They're literally the odd couple. Uh, roll a stealth check there, Nicks. Okay. Art imitates <clears throat> life, after all, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would have said that I would have done this uh, before. Giving him guidance. Uh, yeah. Ash, Ash would have been like, I, I believe you can do this. And she gives him a bardic inspiration. That's not what it's called, but like, you have a D4. But that's what it is. So, that's Thank what it you. is. I kind of needed that. <laughs> okay. Um, so, that's going to be thanks to Brooke. Um, uh, 17. I was about to say, a grand total of nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, tsh, the door is open. You take a second, take a breath in, lower your body stance, make your, you know, uh, silhouette as small as possible, step out. <laughs> you take two steps before a familiar female voice behind you says, Now, where exactly are you going, soldier boy? And that's what uh... we're in. Oh, come Spot. on! Spot fucking oh, we, made a, we barely played for two hours! Come oh, on! I like this cliffhanger. Scruff. <laughs> oh, come on! What about like 30 more minutes? Please! Fine. Thank Yay! You. Yay! I, at the very least, give you guys three hours and a half. Fine, 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 fine. This was maybe two. <laughs> and we. This is, this is on a whenever we can basis yeah, exactly. we still we have two hours until your star wars book club it's Don't be fine a bitch. it's fine what do you do dick says uh <laughs> well caught off guard he's immediately gonna put his hands up and slowly turn around <laughs> i'm not doing anything illegal <laughs> uh when you turn uh even though she is pale white. She was completely in, shrouded in shadow, and she just kind of takes a step forward. But she's in a casual stance. No weapon is out, though she does have weapons on her. Uh, and it, it's that uh, Palduvian woman, Palduvian woman that that uh, called you uptight. What the hell are you doing here? That's for me to know. I asked you first. Yeah. Well, uh, I live here. <laughs> What's your excuse? So do I, for right now. What are you doing? Does everybody in fucking Coruscant live in this goddamn pop- complex? There's a whole... <laughs> yes! <laughs> I orchestrated this because it would be dramatic and cool and I'm bored. Uh, <laughs> I live where I want when I want. Whatever suits my needs. Tell me what you're doing. Why should I tell you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you just really want to. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more convincing with that. Before you're even done saying those words, her blaster is out and pointed at you. And it's really oh, hard to tell. Bla- <laughs> yeah. When she has her blaster out, I have mine out. <laughs> it's like, it's 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 scary. You didn't see her hand move, but you're, you're a soldier, so you're like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, soldier boy. We can do this easier. We can do this hard. I could give you a whole speech, but like, you know how this works. No, I don't know how this works because I still don't know why you're fucking here. I don't want to hurt you because if I did, you'd be hurt, right? All right, fine. Great. That's awesome. Uh, you're very convincing that you're very threatening. Now, can you please explain to me why you're here just so this way I, I can tell you why I'm here? I, Criffing, asked first. But let me tell you what I think. You're here on the level where that crime happened. Trying to look sneaky, doing an okay job, but you know. (laughs) Thanks, I worked really hard on I think you and I want exactly the same thing, which is why I'm asking and why you're not hurt right now. All right, well that depends. What exactly do you want in all this since you have me pinned? Imperial heat. Why do you think I'm on fucking level 1000? Wait, you want Imperial Heat? Don't want it. Nobody wants Imperial Heat. That's why I'm trying to get rid of it. Exactly. So I'm asking you what you're doing. Seeing if I like it. He's opening... He's gonna, uh... He's gonna pull out the... 
he's going to flash the uh, the the contraband, quote unquote. It's going to plant this on the scene, make it look like it wasn't a fo- it wasn't somebody that utilized the force. Right now, we ha- we have the possibility of the top level Imperial heat coming here. I, I don't want that. You don't want that. I was afraid of that. And so you're going to plant it. Who's going to take the fall? Not my problem after that point. Somebody, you got to have somebody in mind. Got to plant it somewhere that makes sense so that pieces can be put together. Have you never done this before? He's not going to answer that question. (laughs) 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 Ah, God, God. And she, like, rubs her head. (laughs) And she puts the blaster away. He'll put his, he'll, he'll, he'll holster his. Let's say I do like what you're telling me, but I don't, I just, just tell me what the plan is. (laughs) Yeah, it was kind of the plan. You just drop it there and then move on. Yeah, the scene that's already been scanned going to suddenly have a new weapon. You got to find someone to take the fall, friend. I'm open to suggestion. Who do you know? Who do you know that would they 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 wouldn't believe? That they would believe or wouldn't believe? Wouldn't believe when they deny it. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone. <laughs> Uh, oh, I have this. Now I'm going to pull out a what of uh, <laughs> what's his name? Hold on. <laughs> it was uh, Jaish. His leg. Right? Huh? You're talking about that tweet leg. Yes? Uh, yes. And when you do, she she just nods like, like a teacher that's like, good, you finally figured out what 2 plus 2 is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's out on the bout. And I guess another important thing, that body, he is a higher up in not the Skag Gang. What the hell is not the Skag Gang? They're, uh... They call themselves... The Skagettes? <laughs> I hate that I'm about to say this, but it, it makes sense. Okay. Red Sun. Red Do sun. I know about the red sun? Uh, I'm gonna roll to see if I know yeah, about the red may, sun. Make a lore check. <laughs> DC's high. I though. am looking over. Am I? I'm looking over the edge. Can I see this conversation happening? No, because the turbo lift's kind of at the at the back of the street. Well, uh, I mean, I'm just saying. Once we got back to the place, no, I would look because, over to keep an eye on Nix. Yeah, you you would have a, to like lean and hang over to see this. If there was okay. a narrative time for it, natural twenty. For a total of uh twenty. <laughs> uh, okay, that's still enough. I feel they're yeah. bad news. Uh, they're not the huts. You know that they're yeah. uh, but they are like at the same level, and it it appear you know that it's a conglomeration of different ones. The pikes, the yeah. This happened a good bit back during the Clone Wars. Uh, th- these were parts of briefings, parts of history. That just while it was happening, you were there, but that's all you, yeah. you all you would know is like what watching the news would teach you. They're yeah. a big deal there. You don't know what higher ups look like. You don't know. I don't know anything about the higher ups, but I do know of them. And so, not only are we talking about imperial heat, we're talking about red sun, sun well. kind of heat. Blame it Great. on, blame it on that idiot Twi'lek. I set him free as a favor. So that they would stay out of my business. Wait, why a favor? I don't even know you. I set I set him free because if you remember, uh, Dex said that he got away. You tra- strapped into a oh. chair and he got away. And this woman was still in the bar when you left. Right. I told him I told him to tell his gang to leave me alone, and he agreed. I uncuffed him. You need better cuffs, by the way. You need better binders. <laughs> That's my only binders. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the buy new binders. <laughs> blame it on the skags. It just it'll make things interesting. So now you're thinking, okay, blame it on the skags. Got it. Do I plant myself as a witness, or who needs the weapon? 
the bureaucrats in the empire look for dots. All they need is half of one, and they'll make one. Then they'll connect it, and then he's already a criminal. Got it. So, plant the weapon, tell him I saw a Twi'lek here, had a skag tattoo, and then they'll uh, do the rest. Don't overcomplicate it. Plant the weapon. What did I just, what did I just cryptically say? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What, uh, what did you say? What the weapon? Plant, plant the weapon. Yeah, all right. All don't right, have fine. to pretend to be a witness because then you have to make up a lie and it has to be, it has to be. You've really never done this before. <laughs> no, I've never done this before. No, none of my team have done this before. All right. Soldier, I was the best. She, likes, she puts a hand on your shoulder. She's quite tall and very like <laughs> spindly is a good word. Like unnaturally spindly. Yeah. This is the same deal I made with him. I gave you this favor, this information. Stay out of my business. I'm only here for a short Fine. time. Fine. Done. I will stay out of your business. The Skags have a hideout. It's, a uh, can't miss it. <laughs> they kind of put a banner up. It's on, uh, wow. we'll say three levels down. Yeah. 995. Got it. So plant the weapon at the crime scene. She just nods. <laughs> And got then it. let's go of you steps back. And before you can finish saying got it, she's like gone. This is this is this was supposed to be an easy day. <laughs> uh and he will continue to uh stealth to drop the weapon off at the crime scene. Alright. Well, okay. <laughs> or no, wait, what was it? You're supposed to hearing... Sorry, yeah, yeah. I did make her voice yeah. soft. You're supposed to plant it where this man is associated with. If you want to make it look like he did it, Got he it. doesn't need motive. He just needs opportunity and means. <laughs> Got it. Then uh, he will go do that. <laughs> uh, so you're you're going to do that right now and not inform your party of this development because Ash is looking at the body. <laughs> uh, he's going <laughs> to... No, he's not going to inform. Okay. He's not going to inform them. He's gonna... Ash, lots of time has passed and nothing's happened to the body. Uh, uh, the security droid, the detective droid has walked up to the body and is looking at it. Uh, so what do you do about that, Ash, before we continue? I call Nix. <laughs> you do have his number. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I gave her my cops. <laughs> so Nix, you like you go f three more levels down and the door is open and you're like, all right, stealth time. Beep, 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 beep. What? Where? Where are you? There's a change in plans. I'm gonna plant the. I'm gonna plant the weapon with the skags, so this way the stags, the skags take the heat. All right. Well, be careful. Bye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she hangs great. Up. Bye. Kel, <laughs> like before she hangs up, just like Kel, just inform race. Oh, never mind. Whatever. Ash will then turn around. Uh, change up. Change of plans. Uh, he's gonna frame the skags so that uh, they take the heat. So everything's Good. fine. Good means less bullshit for me. Make that stealth check again. Uh, you don't have your D4 anymore. You used it. Yep. So here we go. Hold on. I'm gonna bear with me. Hold on. I gotcha. Plus four to my stealth. I'm gonna use an app because I'm away from my dice at the moment. Okay. That is going to be uh, 12. Sure. Hold on. Look at some stats. Right, bear with me for one sec, guys. Okay. I'll be, I'll be one moment. What is Kachin doing? Um, not, I don't know what Kachin can really do. What's going, uh, what's going through his head right now? <laughs> You guys are waiting. I think um, it's it's been made pretty clear what's going through Raistra's head. Same with Ash. But what's going through Kalshin's head? Boy, I sure would like to visit a Jedi temple. <laughs> hmm. It's a palace now. Well, there are many Jedi temples. It's true. Well, there were many Jedi temples. <laughs> well, there's got to be some hit. Like there was, like the hidden one in Lothal. It's true. I'm not necessarily saying that Kalshin knows about that one in particular, but like... Yeah, yeah, of course. 
Well, no, no. There's definitely... I'm not saying there's none. You made the statement there are many. I corrected. There were many. Now there's only a few. Yeah. Kashin's just kind of like... He's going to do a Jaden animation stance, and that will be it. <laughs> Is that how he meditates? Of course. <laughs> just vibing. Yeah, he'll 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 meditate. But anyway, yes. Uh, your stealth check was a twelve, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I roll. I rolled a twelve. Uh. You definitely see uh, the warehouse. There was and it like it's it's made to look abandoned, but like the lights are on, and there's a freaking <laughs> there's a freaking like spray painted on the side the very same logo that was on this man's arm. God, these guys suck. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Uh, you what do you do? You found the building in question. Uh. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up close to the building. Can I look in one of the windows? Yes, we'll say yes. Cool. What do I see? Uh, you see. Uh, basically, basically, I'm looking for the best spot where I can put this thing. The warehouse sucks. Uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's still got like pieces of whatever it used to hold, like pallets and crates. Uh, it's dirty. Uh, but there are just a few individuals inside. Uh, sort of literally five of them you recognize. Because <laughs> I don't believe nobody died in that skirmish, right? They all ran away. No. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't kill anybody. I don't yeah. think Racer killed anybody either. And you especially recognize. It's hard to forget the ugly mug of Jaish. Uh, yeah, that guy. And an ugly Twi'lek is hard to forget. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> and. Um, our I nobody sees you. Let me triple check something. One oh. step. Left. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Especially, I'll say this actually. Definitely, nobody sees you because, like, his bat, the Twi'leks backs to you, and he's like, he's talking flamboyantly. Probably just by his body language, you you think bragging about what just happened. <laughs> Yeah, spinning probably. a yarn um, about how it was successful and not utterly humiliating. Yeah, yeah. Um, the window's closed, right? Yes. How the hell am I gonna do this? This warehouse has entrances. There's like a a door for humanoids, but there's also like a a loading dock that we'll okay. say for the for the sake of this because it's like old, rundown, like. The shutter, it's it's like a shutter door, like we know it it never closes all the way. It's broken. And it, there's okay. like there's like a one foot lip opening. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak in. So you do like a an army roll yeah. under the door. Yeah, army roll uh, army roll under, get behind a crate, keep myself. Ba -ba -ba t -t yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ba -ba 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 -na. Nix, nix, nix. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, he'll, uh, he's gonna have his, uh, vibro knife in hand, mm -hmm. just in case shit goes wrong. Of course. Um, and, uh, is there, like, a desk or someplace, like, a locker or just... Basically, somewhere I can place this where they're not going to notice it immediately, but it's not hidden. There's definitely no desks. There's definitely lockers, though, for, like, you imagine the workers. Some of them are turned yeah. over, uh, but there's, like, a few lined up. And they appear to be in use. Uh, and when you check, this is at the other side of the room, so I imagine you're, you're fine. When yeah. you check them, like, one of them is locked. And the others aren't, but seem to have things in them. You're just like, mm -hmm. I will, uh, I will slip it in one of these open lockers. All right. And uh, anything? Else? Didn't you have his armband? I did. Yeah, you can slip that in uh, as well if you desire. <laughs> yes, I will. I, I, in fact, I will tie the armband onto the the device and yeah. then place it in there. 
Yeah, okay. And sneak out, yes. Uh yes. Should I roll to sneak out? Yes. Let's let's make one more stealth check to make this interesting. Yes, let's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh uh nine. Nine? Nine. <laughs> uh you're like you shut the locker and you, you're like so scared you're so scared you're like you're going so slow you're like don't make a very loud click and when you do it's like it's just like soft and you're like and so you so you turn with your body weight low and you take a step and when you do you you pick uh, 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 your foot hits the crate and it goes oh <laughs> god damn it <laughs> and literally every mook and uh jayish like turn and you're there in a cross position they're there at a table at a table made of crates and pallets <laughs> and there's just like that awkward it was like and i see you you are <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now i've got to go <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun but now i've got to go <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and he's very much in this situation of uh, uh gentlemen. Hey. Nice to see ya. Sorry, do we? Is that something good? Get him! <laughs> and like everyone, yeah. everyone draws their blasters. Uh, uh, I'm gonna draw mine, but I'm leaping out a window. Yeah, <laughs> you're just going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we shall roll initiative. Oh fuck! All right. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, they won't. They won't hear Nick, this. They're fine. <laughs> I hope Nick's is Nick's okay. <laughs> Ooh, what did you get on initiative, Nix? I got an eighteen. Oh, you were so lucky. You were going before everyone else by one. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait. Yeah, yeah, you are okay. So your turn first. Oh, cool. Where's the closest window? <laughs> it's like there's one right next to the. Like you could dive under the door. Or there's a there is a window like it goes to another part of the street that you didn't come from, but there's a window next to the lockers that's kind of at the south side of this building. All right, do I want to be loud or I want to try to <laughs> try to cover myself? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover myself. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the way that I came in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you just <laughs> it's me fun and I've got Tig and then just like yep. dive yep. roll under the door. Uh, make yep. a acrobatics check for that. We'll see. Absolutely. Now that I am proficient with. <laughs> Ironically, I'm also proficient with sleight of hand. Hmm. Uh, Devil's 20. All right. <clears throat> you dive, roll, and then it's just like not even a shot was fired. Like you're done rolling <sighs> under the door <laughs> when shots like collide with the door and you're hearing it like pew, 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 plink off the door and you're like, ah! <laughs> 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 <sighs> Still got it. And I'm going to start run, making my way to the lift. <laughs> yeah. I believe we'll say, like, to get out the front door when you turn the alley corner and get some pot shots mm. off at you, but they're disadvantage. Cool. Uh, that's still a... Hold on. Sorry. Uh... Sorry. 17 to hit? Form 1? Um... Hold on one sec. Need to find my armor class on this thing. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, 16, so yeah, that's going to hit me. Seven damage. Oof. <laughs> okay. Level one. They are wielding rifles. Is that one of the capacity? theory? I would have had one HP left. That one is only, uh, like, nine. Cool. <laughs> Goes wide, and you're like... <laughs> But you're a soldier. You even you even yep. use the momentum to go forward a little faster. Yep, and in fact, I do. You're in the lift. You, you mash the button, and the doors close as like you see two security droids kind of fly down, and oh, like boy. go towards the sound of the shots, so not away from you. Oh god. Uh, and then the doors close, and uh, I'm gonna get up against the. Uh, I'm gonna press my back against the wall of the elevator and just slide down. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot the speaker. 
That was the only turbo lift with a working speaker. You just made it yep. selfish. And you ruined it for everyone else. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> you go up to uh, level level 1,000. You're still on your butt. <laughs> Doors yeah. Oh, you get back up. Slowly. <laughs> There's some sparks from the broken speaker. <laughs> and you're like... If I pass somebody, I'm just going to go. It was like that when I got in there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> And you go back to the apartment and see your friends. Yeah. F- friends. Well, your well, friends I'm here too. Ray a fremony at best. Uh, <laughs> no, we're friends. And I'm here too. I'm no one. <laughs> no one likes me. I like I you, like Kaoshin. I like you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not uh, friends anymore. <laughs> he's gonna. Okay, but are you like? Is that? I. No, I'm too insensitive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna make his way up to the apartment and just very, <laughs> very tiredly ah. knock on the door. He does have a smoking brand new blaster wound on his shoulder. What the fuck happened? <laughs> what did did Stop. it not go well? Did you no, not do no. it? Actually, to be perfectly honest, it went a lot better than I thought it would. He's gonna just sit down and take off his helmet. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, I'll go over and uh, I should still have. Or no, I only have one hit dice, don't I? That's okay. Don't worry about it. I can second wind. <laughs> Damn bit. I mean, I can cast heal. It's just that's gonna get rid of the, like all my force points. It's okay. So I'll, I'll, our... I'll, 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 I'm just gonna do. Don't worry about it. I'll just do second win. There you yeah. go. So you sit down, <sighs> center yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna take a deep breath as I uh, Baby one. as I Tim. clean the wound. Good job. I'm gonna take six hit point back. Nice. Thank you. All right, so the evidence has been placed. So, you know, they should figure things out. It'll be fine. It will be fine. You, what did you get spotted doing? Uh, honestly, they didn't even spot me putting it in there. They just spotted me when I, when I stood up. Good, then it sounds like we're okay for now. In theory? Yeah, we should be. So? Now our next move should be getting off this planet. Hopefully. Have they proceeded any further with the investigation? Have they found anything? Uh, a, uh... They were examining the body earlier. But I I have a question. How how do we know it's... So where did you plant it? You didn't exactly tell me uh, this Uh, information. I planted it with the skags, um, and uh, I, I put it in one of their lockers. Why would the Why would the detective droids be look look over there? There's like a a beat. Oh fuck! Oh, well, right now you saw security droids heading towards blaster fire that was coming from that shed. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it all worked out. Yeah, yeah. Well, while I was uh, while I was running. Uh, some security go- droids got involved and started going after the people that were shooting me. It was all according to plan. I wasn't bad at singing. Well, I, thought, <laughs> I thought your answer was going to be because the man was semi-high up in a rival gang, but this works too, I guess. Also that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> rival is... Generous. It's, it's really yeah. hard to put it, like, friggin', you know, Red Sun is intergalactic. These skags apparently exist here in these levels, and that's it. Ugh. Well, as long as it works out and she's gonna be safe. In theory. I gotta... Well, she's gonna go to jail, probably... but... I mean, if they... I mean, she's probably will get away with it if, uh, it's, if it's the skags that are gonna take the fall for it. Hmm. Probably. Worst comes to worst, she'll go to jail and that'll be fine, I guess. Yeah, as long as she doesn't do anything in, in jail. Well, it would be better than the alternative. It would be. She doesn't even let you finish the thought. She just goes, yeah, it would be. 
I'm gonna have to pick up a couple of extra shifts and I'm gonna make back the credits I gave up. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> she didn't ask my, about my armor this time. Huh? She says at least you didn't ask about my armor this time. Yeah. Good on that. <sighs> I'm gonna look out the window and see if, the, if there's any more activity going on. Make a perception check. Sure. Oh! Another nat 20. <laughs> oh, wow. For a to yeah, for You're a total hyper. of a... I got lucky today. I um, like the flavor. You're just now, after being shot, you're hypervigilant now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 23. Uh, with that, some time passes. You're looking out the window, but your ears do pick up, like, very subtly, like, you know, as almost as if it's only a few levels down, some blaster fire that stops uh, after not much time. Uh, you see, you can, because the turbo lifts, you know, they light up, so you can see one going down. Uh... Mm -hmm. And you kind of see it's it's like five levels down, so it's really hard. But right. we'll we'll say you look over the edge, like you 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 might step out to do so. Uh, yeah. And when you do, there's like you see troops, uh, two security security stormtroopers, uh, okay. that like are walking down the sh the street on level you know nine nine five mm -hmm. uh, towards the shed, and you're like hmm. This is gonna be. They're gonna check that place out, and that's that's all you yep. know because like you you don't have view yeah. of the shed, you don't have view. <laughs> yeah. Looks like everything's falling into place nicely. Good. That's good. But all of you are here in this room with your feelings, <laughs> and you all wonder. <laughs> What feelings? Kalshin doesn't have feelings. <laughs> yeah, he's a Jedi, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> he's a real Jedi. <laughs> Oof. What is that? An emotion? Repress, 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 repress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the only thing, the only through line with all of you is what should we do next? But you'll find that out next time. Hooray! Yay! 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 Star Wars First Resistance is a live play Dungeons & Dragons podcast using the Star Wars 5e system, which can be accessed for free at sw5e.com. Our podcast features the player talent of Bubble Brook as Asha Kai, Silver Keyblade as Cal Chin Femir, Ben Leopard as Nyx, Heaton Oruni as Raistra Akan, and this Justin as the Game Master. You can find links to our social medias in the description. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please, we would love it if you left a positive review, commented, and shared this with your friends. We can't thank you enough for listening to us goof around and tell stories, and we hope you'll join us on next episode. Until then, may the Force be with you.